Welcome back to the mountain guys. We're on the base of Rogue River just about to head up in higher elevation I got a piston bully a lot of you guys in the comments are like Spencer You need a piston bully like you can't even be making them making these videos without one So we got one and it looks great We have just the in-game leveler that typically a lot of people use for silage I think this will work good for uh, for, for like carving out good spots for the snow and it raises up pretty high Got a three-point hook up there. So Everything is good and locked in on that. And then I got Mosquito that we'll always try and have with this. Unfortunately, I cannot put it in the back of this. There's a collision right here. You see, I can't even like stand on top of it. But that would be so cool if we could strap down the Mosquito in the back of that. And I made it. This this will be the Mosquito that stays with that. Um, with the Piston Bully setup. Because I really like this. It's like, I don't, it's like almost like, uh, it's like orange, blue. If you know the... Boise football team that's kind of their colors but today I'm going solo I'm gonna get loaded up here and we're gonna get up to the mountain goal today is to groom the trails there we go perfect goal today is to groom the trails and then we are going to set up one or maybe two if we have enough money uh some bases up here so all these I want to do for for uh for camping but I think at three especially three we're gonna have a place to store the groomers store equipment store a lot of like uh getting people on stock survival equipment safety equipment uh and anything that we should have up there in case somebody were to get severely injured or bleeding out crash their snowmobile or their snowmobile just gets wrecked we need something to tow them out and then we need a place we don't want to drive the groomers up and down so we need to keep the groomers up in the mountain and next to the trails close to the trail so we can run them at night time uh, when we shut down the trail so we'll get that folded up this will be the official trailer whenever we are pulling something with the piston bullies it'll work great it's got tracks and uh and, and yeah it's perfect it even has a hitch back here so we could put multiple ones on here and then i had to get a little adapter i got a three point here and then to get it to to go in there i had to get an adapter i don't know what you call those i've seen them work before but it, it works good for our setup so let's get up to the mountain might be a little rough in spots but the biggest thing for the piston bully is compaction we don't have much compaction it was a lot of powder so we'll have areas i think in the future where people can get get off trail but right now it's pretty much all trail and we need to get those packed down so people you know with smaller lugs smaller tracks can get out there and have fun and they don't have big powder skis on you know that's kind of what we were doing you know old maybe they got an old like 80s or 90s snowmobile that's super heavy all right so we're pulling up i think this is yeah this is the best way up to three and these are kind of tough these are really hard to drive honestly uh when you aren't in snow and you have these tracks it's kind of tough but we'll just go up here it's no big deal it won't tear the tracks up too much then like i said i want to do I have a few sheds in here that I want to place down. I'm either going to do a really small shed uh, or we'll go like maybe medium size, but something that I can at least put two groomers in. I'll probably put two in a shed. We'll have four on the mountain. That should be plenty. We were kind of thinking, say say we run it from 10 p.m. to about like 4 a.m., 5 a.m. Can we get all these trails done, have a crew come out, four guys, knock it all out. And then you have to account for breakdowns, repairs. So... I kind of factored in say we only had three groomers for a night could we still get it done and i think we could so we'll probably put four up here because we can't have the guys driving up from the mountain all the way up here like we we've been driving for a while now and and we aren't even up here so we kind of gotta make sure we have a place for them to go all right so we just got down here now this one is actually pretty small all right so this is going to be kind of tough i was thinking are they all this small no three's a five looks a bit bigger but they, they're all pretty tight so it, it it's not going to be big it's not going to be like the best thing in the world that's what i was kind of worried about and maybe in the future maybe next spring but right now i just wanted to get up a pretty easy building more of a hoop building to get these groomers up here get them get a place to store fuel uh we'll get some some gas tanks up here where we can refill with fuel and keep you know diesel and then you know if I, like i said if anybody breaks down we can still help them i know i'm not going to be selling gas up here but uh, maybe in the future we might that and just charge a lot for it. Maybe do something where we have tanks up here, so we so we have the buildings, the groomers are in, and then we have like you know big old 500 gallon drum tanks here and uh, a premium fuel. And when snowboarders go out, we just charge them. We make money on the fuel. That would be kind of nice. So here's what we're working with with shred with sheds. Now these are pretty big. These are I mean the smallest I can do is 40 by 60. But then, which which isn't bad. That's fairly small. But I was thinking this is going to be a little easier to construct. 
and it's uh it has all of our shop equipment on the inside too now it is pretty big so I'll, it's gonna eat up a lot of real estate here but i was thinking you know we just have one right here at three and then we can take the other one probably to 14 maybe don't go to 15 or maybe 12. we'll see i think maybe 12 will be a good but before i can place down anything i first got to clear out all the snow now if you ever play in seasons and you have it snow and you're trying to place something down pro tip the reason why it's not letting you place it place it down which you'll probably say it's uh object is colliding with another object that's because there's snow on the ground even it just the little bit of snow just one little dot of snow will will it won't let you place it down which is is pretty annoying you wish no would just disappear or like you can still place it down but then um like the snow it just goes on top of the snow but unfortunately it just doesn't work like that so if you've ever ran into that make sure to clean off the surface perfectly which is kind of hard with these plows they they dribble right away which is really annoying maybe i'll just angle it this way and then just be done with it but yeah it's kind of annoying anyway i'll knock this out quick all right guys there it is we got the building up looks really really good got a little pad down a little floor for the concrete foundation got tools yeah, I got a, few, a little bit of fuel drum there. I got everything I would need for repairs. Bunch of tools inside all these work work benches. And I got a welder. So everything is pretty good. Nice big old air compressor. So I'm going to get in inside there. We'll see. I'll keep the trailer on the outside. I, I do want to unload this snowmobile, of course. There we go. We'll, I think I'll have it this way. <clears throat> you know what? I should probably face it the other way. It's kind of tight to back in over there hopefully i might have to move my truck we'll see i think we first that's that better I'll, I'll just do it on the right side i'll be good so i'll unload my snowmobile too i i might as well just do that right now there we go or two fire up but then we'll keep this inside the shop this will be kind of like the shop ski do there we go i'll just you know i'll just keep it outside for right now i'm not sure how i'm going to or I might keep it. You know, I'm going to keep it outside for right now. I do want to hit up some trails here today. See how they are. And then I just want to put the groomer inside. Do see how it fits. See if we can fit two in there. I'm kind of curious if we can. I'm not too sure. Then look at the steering wheel too, guys. It's kind of like almost a video game steering wheel. Pretty interesting. I uh, recently went snowboarding and saw a few piston bullies. I, I think one was a piston bully and then one was a different one and uh they had some pretty cool attachments on it one was for like making jumps and stuff and a really cool like auger in the front that shaved snow and stuff that was cool and yeah if you guys ever have a chance to look just look at a piston bully see every the tracks are so wide it's not even funny uh they're, they're just so wide and so i just i don't know it was cool i tried to pay as much attention as i could to it try and see what the inside is inside's pretty i guess i didn't pay attention to the steering wheel but it's pretty small the interior is pretty small it's like right your seat backs up right to where it ends but they're really cool all right so i'm back and in just trying to see you know maybe one we could fit two but when you're walking on them you probably probably only want one in here there yeah i'm sure we could fit two i have so much more room to back up to and then i'm clear there but i'll just keep one in there right now we can get some more moved up here i got three back at the base all right i'll move my truck real quick put it on the side and then i'm gonna go and groom the trails we'll see how it goes now i don't have a groomer in the back or a finisher you could say but that's fine we're, we're literally just going for compaction trying to get on top of snow pack it down so when snowmobilers come like i said they can uh they can enjoy nice groomed and at least compacted trails so a lot of people didn't even come when we got all that snow so much snow is just too powdery but it is kind of naturally compacted but not even close to where uh where like a groom trail would be so we'll get on that we had snowmobilers out here and we were out here too compacting I had a few buddies come out uh a few days after too and just have them help compact but there we go got over my little bump there and then we'll put the plows out i don't think i'm gonna there isn't too much that i want to shave down but if there is i'll try and take care of it all right so there we go we're compacting i actually took the blade off it was almost too uh too crazy of terrain i couldn't even get it up enough uh the too many side hills that's what i mean it was the edges would have scraped and stuff even when i had it folded in but the, yeah right now i'm just trying to compact 
and not get lost but once i come through here we'll be able to like follow the tracks and i don't i think this will also help with the trails and making sure everybody goes the right way but i've been on the trails a few times and I, i've only gotten lost like once or twice maybe in the groomer i will but it seems like the snowmobiles you're going much faster so you know you could like fly by something or just completely whiff so i was thinking i'm gonna run up and down here just on this little section of trails see how the groomer does probably going a bit too fast there just see how it does it climbs really good very stable feel safe when we go on these slants the tracks are wide enough wide enough stance for stability and i'm pretty sure they try and make them really low center of gravity of course you're going to be going up very steep things one don't want to tip and left to right or up and down or like pop a wheelie and roll it backwards i think with the tracks then the cap is really the only thing that is is like up in the air more and i think that's pretty light too so i'm gonna do this and then i want to put up one more of those buildings i really like them those shops let me know what you think of those those are also in game so you can do this too but also a, a bit of a few comments that i've also seen is you guys want me to make like a ski resort or like a, like a ski and snowboard resort with ski hills and stuff i don't know if i will there isn't too many good um first off there aren't any like ski mods or anything it would be cool to make uh but at least have some sort of ski mod or like a cool resort resort all right so like right there that was a pretty crazy climb and uh we were a lot of black smoke was coming out there. Okay, we just made it to the other site. Perfect. Looks good. Oh, there we go. All right, so we made it to the other site. Looks good. I'm going to go back now. And then, like I said, I'm going to keep this in there. And then I'll bring up another. Hopefully, I'm, I might almost get a trailer going and, and grab two groomers. And then put them in the other shop. We'll kind of see how that goes. But I'll zip back there real quick. so we got everything back groom that section of trail so i'm gonna run back i'll keep the i should probably keep the stone wheel inside or at least pull the keys it'll be easier to just keep it inside that way i don't have to mess with the keys if anybody comes out here uh any of the guys working and they need the sled i don't know go run get something breaks down i don't know uh then then they can have it there and we don't have to not have the keys and sled sitting outside so i'm gonna run back hook up to my pj trailer and we'll take two groomers up to site 13 i think is where we're gonna go we'll go and knock that out real quick and then uh at least get our place down or have it at least the two groomers up there and then we can do the uh the construction work tomorrow because it is getting kind of late so if you guys did enjoy today's episode please let me know by hitting the like button we aren't done yet we still got to do a little bit of trucking, which will be fun. I'll try and cook back here, but we'll have a PJ trailer, two groomers. I'll, I think I'll have the, the plows on the front too. So that will be a tight squeeze. I'll see, see if I can fit it. But I, I'll, one thing I always like to do is if once I fold it up, then I back them back uh, over the wheelbase more. And so whenever I'm taking a heavy load or a long load, wide load, that usually tends to help. So what's the tracks? I don't know. I trust tracks a little bit more on there sometimes they're a bit wider a bit more stable and again like low center of gravity so i'm not worried about tipping or anything they should be fine on there i think I'll, i just need to get them strapped down good and i'll be fine all right so i'm gonna be running the big techs here i got my fifth wheel hitch if i can oh, i don't want to come in at, a, at an angle but i'm hoping i'm not gonna use i'm gonna bring up the leveler some other time but i want to get both piston bullies at least up on the trailer for today if i if i can't unload them it gets too dark the sun is going down and it goes down really quick in the mountains. You have to remember that. It, once the sun is, you know, level with the trees, pretty much it, it feels like nighttime, or at least driving in it does. And, uh, and it's kind of tough, and I don't want to be backing up. It's going to get cold. I'll at least just drop the trailer off. There we go. We'll slide her all the way. Oh, it's going to be a tight fit. But it, it's pretty nice that, I mean, they're... They aren't like humongous, but we should be able to fit it on there. All right, so there we go. We got them both loaded up. This is she's squatting the the Ford F two fifty is squatting. It. We got a D, we got a power stroke in here, boys. So hopefully we'll be able to make her up to the top. But that's gonna wrap up today's episode. I might honestly just leave them down here. The sun's going down, 
I don't know if I want to make the big long trip, but thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. Hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next one.